I'm Dr. Vicki Peterson. Welcome to this video. What I'm doing today is updating a video I did several years ago on vitamin D3 and vitamin K2 and kind of how they interact and, and a danger actually associated with taking the vitamin D3 without the vitamin K2. So what's that all about? Uh, vitamin D3 you can definitely look up. I've done a lot of videos and blogs about it and it's, it's a wonderful vitamin. It's called a vitamin. It's really a steroid. It's anti-cancer. It has a lot of great benefits and the problem is that the estimate is 90 some odd percent of Americans are deficient. So obviously that's a problem. And quite frankly, the, in recent years it's been about you know, measure the D, give your patient D, and, and it's been that, that's been the push, and there's nothing wrong with that, except that along with that D3 deficiency goes a K2 deficiency. And what's really key about that is that vitamin K2 helps the calcium that vitamin D absorbs, it tells the calcium, so the K2 tells the calcium where to go. So why is that important? Because you want your calcium in your, in your teeth and your bones but you don't want it in your kidneys causing uh, kidney stones and you definitely don't want it in your arteries causing heart disease so uh, the where calcium goes is very very important and vitamin k2 does that job now there's also a vitamin k1 and you get that from dark green leafy vegetables which if you know me at all you know i'm a big fan of and k1 helps you from having any uh, blood bleeding disorders so um, it's that's it's very important on that end. However, it doesn't affect the calcium so much, except that vitamin K1 in our gut turns into K2 to a degree. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of it is lost when you have a bowel movement. And also, it's estimated because it's our good bacteria in our, in our guts that help vitamin K1 turn into K2 and the fact that we don't have the healthiest gut flora, that even though Mother Nature made that nice design of eat your dark green leafies and turn your K1 into K2, the proviso is you have a healthy gut, and a lot of us don't have a healthy enough gut. So um, it's easy to get a vitamin D3 blood test. We like those levels around 40 to 60 um, nanograms per milliliter. So that's NG forward slash M capital L. Uh, if you're from another country or sometimes labs do deciliter versus milliliter, you're just gonna have to do the math. Uh, so it's easy to get your D3 level. It's almost impossible to get your uh, vitamin K2 level. Labs just don't run the test. Now research labs do. That's where we get the estimate that 80 to 90% of Americans are deficient. So we know that's there. And when you're deficient in K2, uh, not only are you more likely to deposit your calcium where it, it shouldn't be, um, but you're at higher risk for brain disease, heart disease, stroke, diabetes, cancer, osteoporosis um, and kidney stones so there's if that's you if any one of those diseases are you or something that runs in your family you want to make sure you're getting adequate amount of k2 okay so where do we get it the 64 million dollar question it's not easy to get especially the right form of k2 so it's uh, k2 is a menaquinone K1 is a phyloquinone, but of the menaquinones, there are a few different types, and we want menaquinone 7. So that's the most uh, active form, it's the natural form, and so that is found in a very particular food called natto, N-A-T-T-O, and if you're an American, you've probably never heard of it, it's a for fermented soybean product. I am told it's smelly and slimy, can't imagine a, a, a worse recommendation <laughs> for a food, but there you go. I've been told that as Americans, uh, we find it very unpalatable to uh, get anywhere near natto, unfortunately. And it's also found in certain fermented cheeses like brie and edam, edam cheese. Um, I used to be a big brie fan, I will admit, in my, my dairy eating days, but now I'm very much against anyone consuming dairy products made from cow's milk or any other animal milk, uh, plant-based milk only, if you please. So, uh, so where are we gonna get our K2, right? So we need to supplement it. 
Now I use a supplement that has that metoquinone 7, so it was derived from natto. Uh, however, it's tasteless and odorless, and it's a nice combination of D3, 1,000 international units of D3, 10 micrograms of K2 in this particular, so it's one drop. Uh, orthomolecular products is what makes this, and as I said, it's, um, it's a liquid, so it's easy to take. It, it's tasteless, also making it easy to take. Uh, this is not my company. I have nothing to do with the profits of orthomolecular, uh, but I do find it's, it's an easy product for patients to take, and um, uh, that's what I'm looking for, is something that has a nice balance. It's got the D3 and the K2, and patients will take it because it's easy. So that's why I like that one. Find whichever one you want. Just make sure you have a nice balance of, of these nutrients. Now, D3, you can definitely take too much of. As I mentioned, the danger associated with the D3 is um, the fact that if you're taking it and not the K2, you can set yourself up for kidney stones and inappropriate deposition of calcium. Um, K2 in and of itself is, is hard to OD on, if you will. Not that you want to try, um, but it's, it, people have been given too much of it over a long period of time and, and they haven't seen any negative side effects. However, the, um, the dose that's recommended is about 150 micro, uh, micrograms uh, by Dr. Vermeer, and she's the leading worldwide expert on the vitamin. Even though it's the K1 that has to do with um, blood clotting and uh, bleeding uh, in the body, they do say that if you're taking, if you're on a blood thinning drug, don't get to the higher ends of the K2 dosage, which is would be probably 150 on up to 185. Uh, they still do make that. Um, have that concern that if you're on a blood thinning drug, it's not that you can't take any of it, but you'd want to be on the lower, the lower range of it. I'm going to check my notes for a second and see anything I forgot to tell you. I think that's it. I think that's it. So hopefully this kind of filled out and and answered some questions that had been coming up for the last uh, little bit from my subscribers that have been watching this video um, because we're always learning new things, granted, and uh, there's been some really good questions being asked of regarding keeping, keeping this balance um, intact, and it's so important that you do, so I do love your questions, uh, and hopefully this, this filled in the gaps. So uh, in the meantime, if your health is not the way you want it to be, I want you to reach out to me. That's what I'm here for. Uh, here at Root Cause Medical, we help the world busiest people regain, retain, and reclaim their health, energy, and resilience. I would love to help you. We offer free phone consultations, so you can give me a call at 408-733-0400. And uh, if you don't live local, we do it over the phone. If you do live local, just come on in. And i um, excited to get you healthier. And until next time, I'll see you soon and let me know any questions you have and any other videos you want to hear. So um, the YouTube channel has just been exploding and uh, as I said, I have really smart subscribers. I love your questions. So let me know what you want to hear about and I'll see you soon.